Hey y'all, this is Joy with Petty Candle Co. Um, this video, I did a big candle haul. I got a lot of supplies from AAA Candle Supply, so just decided to upload it so you guys can see. Maybe if you're using the same type of jar, same type of wax wicks, maybe that can help you, or if there's a couple scents that maybe you were curious about. Um, I don't have a lot, I only got like four, but um, I got a lot of wicks and you know, all that other stuff. So let's just get right into it and cut the jibber jabber. So the first one that I bought, this is the 16 ounce um, salsa slash straight sided jar. I see a lot of websites um, or like candle supply companies use these interchangeably. Um, so I don't really know, you know, I'll show you the difference because I also bought the nine ounce straight sided jar. So you can see the difference. I mean, this one has a little bit more of a rounded edge to it. And this one is more straight sided, but if you're doing these size differences, um, if you have both of these in your line, I don't think they're different enough for a customer to be like, what the heck? Because they're two totally different sizes as well. So this is nine ounces. This is a 16 ounce. On the um, AAA Candle Supply, these are both labeled as um, salsa jars. But like if you were to go and look at this on Candle Signs or something like that, they have it as straight sided jars. So just... FYI, if you go looking for a particular type, you don't see it under salsa jar or straight sided jar. Like I said, I've noticed on some supply companies, websites, they use those interchangeably. So just FYI, if you're looking for something and you can't find it. So yeah, like I said, this is the 16 ounce salsa jar. I have the black lids with them. I believe these are um, 80, 82s, but don't quote me. Either way, I'll put the, um, the link down below. Um, so I got 12, I got two packs of these 16 ounces. So along with that, I got um, 12 black lids and 12 gold lids. So obviously I have the black lid on right now. That's how that one looks. And this is how it looks with, I grabbed the lids for the nine ounces. Excuse me. This is how it looks with the gold lid. So um, I just do both because some of my labels have black in them, some of them have gold. So I just like the way that some of them look with certain colors on them. So like I said, and weirdly enough, now that I'm looking at these, this one is a little bit less rounded. So that's kind of strange. Uh, you might not be able to pick it up on the camera, but I can see it. So, hmm, weird. I'm just gonna say that maybe their quality is not all that cohesive. I know they obviously don't make these jars, so I don't wanna say that that's AAA Candle Supplies, but whoever they source these from, um, that's a little weird. And then, I said once again, I don't know if you can pick that up, but there's a seam right here. On this one, the seam is pretty smooth. I hope that you guys can see that. I know that's really weird from here. On this one, the seam is really rough. So that's something that I noticed right away when I got these. I was like, ugh, I don't really care for that. So that's probably where I'll put my label at because um, I just use one big square label. So that's definitely where I'm going to be putting my label at for this one because I don't like the way that that looks. And yeah, these look different, which is very strange. Just noticed that. Hmm. Um, and then obviously this is the 9 ounce straight sided jar, which I just showed you guys that. Um, all of my candles so far have been the nine ounce ones. Um, I've had some requests from some of my customers to make bigger candles, so that is why I got the nine, or 16 ounces, I'm sorry, 16 ounces. So this is the nine ounce, the smaller version, um, straight sided jar. This is with it in the black. I believe these lids are called the 72s, but once again, I'm gonna put the link down below, so don't quote me, but I will put the link. So straight edge jar, straight sided jar, nine ounces with the black and gold. That's what I use for mine. Um, so along with the jars, I just re-upped on the wicks that I use for my nine ounce ones, which I use HTP 83 in my nine ounce jars. Some people use 93s. I've said some saw some people that use like 104s and 105s. 80 HTP 83 works for me with the fragrance oils and the percentages and stuff that I do. It works perfectly fine for me. I don't have any issues with it. So I'm not saying use these. That just works for me. I use IGI 606, which is a parasoy blend. 
You can use it if you want. If you're having some troubles wicking, like I said, it works for me. And I use 10% fragrance oil in all of my scents. And even though um, I do some of my candles, I, I use fragrance oils from different companies. I always use a 10% fragrance oil load. HTP3 works just great. I did up it one time, HTP93, and it sooted like crazy and I hated it. HTP383 gives me a nice clean burn. But like I said, that's just me. That's my experience. You're going to have to test it and see for yourself. Now this one, the 16 ounce, this is going to be my first time ever doing the um, going up. So for these, I, I wanted to do HTP um, 104. AAA Candle Supply does not have a HTP 104. So I just did HTP 105. So I just basically went up one. Um, so I was asking like the people at the front desk like what they're paying, what they think would be that big of a deal. Um, they weren't sure what the difference was. So I was like, well, I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna try it, see what happens. You have to do that anyways. You have to test no matter what you do. So this is what I'm going to be using. This is the wick that I'm going to be using in my 16 ounce salsa jar is the HTP 105 from AAA Candle Supply. And I got two cases of these. So I have 24 total of my 16 ounce jars. Um, when you buy, AAA Candle Supply does not have tester kits. So when you buy wicks from them, it's always going to come in 100 a bag of 100 wicks. Lone Star, you can, Lone Star Cam Supply, I know you can get testers, but um, I went and bought these, like straight, I went straight to the store because I was trying to save on the shipping, you know, they were tripping. So I was like, mm, let me just go and get these in person. Um, so that's also why I did it. I could have ordered from Lone Star because I live in the DFW area, but they're a little bit further than me, um, further from me. So I was just like, ah, 45 minutes versus 20. We gonna go with this. So that's what I did. So I will update on y'all how that went because I don't feel like it'll be that big of a deal. But like I said, I've one upped in this one before from HTP 83, which I use. This is what I use all the time to HTP 393 and it's sooted like crazy. So I'm really hoping that that's not the case for this, that one upping from the one that I originally planned to do I really hope so. Um, I do have a couple HTP 104s and like my testers that I got, but not enough to like, you know, make a whole bunch of candles. So once again, you have to test and anything that you do, I guess if I don't like it, that's what, you know, D stash groups and all that good stuff is for. So along with my jars and all that good stuff, this is my little box, of, you know, which I got 36 of the nine ounces, 24 of the 16 ounces. I also got 20 pounds of IGI 606. So if you've never seen how it comes, it just comes in this big old black. That's it. It just big old chunk. So um, the way I do these, I used to be real. I'm not going to tell you how I used to break it up because y'all need to know that's not important. So now the way that I do it, I have like this like metal like cake spatula thing. If you guys have ever seen like those little metal spatulas and the way they just whip the candle around or the icing around on their cakes. I use that to break this up. So I break it into chunks, into blocks, probably like that big. And then I put in my wax warmer. Chef's kiss works perfectly. And I got that thing from Dollar Tree. So for a dollar, the little cake icing spatula thing, it works like a charm for this. It's the bomb. Uh, if not, I also used to, <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna tell you how I used to do it, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. I used to use a sledgehammer. So I would just take it on the edge and just whop it. And yeah, but that's obviously not the best method, but you know, you gotta, you gotta try stuff out. You just never know, you know? That's how I used to do it. I'm not saying you have to do it. I use a cake spatula now because I've refined my workflow. So, like I said, 20 pounds of the IGI 606. It comes in the 10 pound blocks. This is my second block. Like I said, you can see, just comes just like this, little flat thing. This is how they do theirs. Um, Lone Star, when they send theirs, they send theirs in a bag. They don't send it like, Actually, yeah, they do send it in a bag. So everybody labels and packs and ships their stuff differently. 
this is how they do it. And I've never bought um, 6006. I think I've been saying that wrong this whole time. Y'all, don't pay me no mind. It's IGI 6006. I've never gotten it from Candle Science. I've only ever gotten it from AAA Candle Supply because shipping is just outrageous. So if I can go and drive and buy and pick up like some of these heavier things, that's what I do. So that's why I went and got like the heavy glass and the lids and the wax from AAA because that stuff's the same everywhere. Not everybody has the same quality of fragrance oil, but everybody's always gonna have the same type of jars, the same lids, the same wax. So that's a tip. If you can go and drive somewhere, I know that's probably common sense, but I would really encourage you to Google in your city, see what's closest to you. If you can go drive and pick that stuff up, that is a lifesaver, seriously. Like that was a $20 savings for me to um, just go pick it up myself, which $20 is a whole nother thing of, that's like two or three things a week. That's like two or three dozen more containers for me. That's a, 10 pounds of wax. I mean, I know $20 is probably like, oh, the convenience factor is not that much. When you start breaking down how many more supplies you can get for just driving maybe 20, 30 minutes, I mean, it makes a big difference. But once again, that's just me. So the other things that I did, I did get a little bit of fragrance oil. I said I wasn't going to, but I can't help myself. So I got from them, this is the first one I got. I got eight ounces of their vanilla bean. I really like the vanilla bean because it smells like real vanilla to me. I am a stickler about vanilla. Like I hate that funky, medicated, alcoholic, alcoholy smelling vanilla. Like it just stinks. This one is great. It's just, mm, it just smells like real vanilla extract and it's just the bomb. This vanilla bean, eight ounces. It's amazing. And AAA, they um, put their fragrance oils in like, looks like a cough syrup bottle. And it opens like one too. So you have to push it down, twist and do all that. And then it's a uh, good thing that it was child proof because this is just me, you know, you can't just twist it off. You have to do the whole push down thing. So all theirs come in these little cough syrup looking things. So that's how they label theirs. The next one that I got is musk. So I got musk because a musk is used in a lot of like mixtures. So if you're trying to warm something up or, you know, just add a little mm -mm, something, something, musk is a good one to use. Now disclaimer, I have not used musk in any of my mixtures, but there's a couple things that I've been using and it's just not hitting quite for me. I'm just like, what does this need? So that's why I got the musk. And the musk scent, y'all don't judge me because I told y'all this is child proof. I'm grown, but it ain't easy to open. Anyways, um, the musk is like just, I don't know how to describe it. It's just an earthy, warm smell. It is gearing more towards like a masculine scent, but obviously if you're mixing it with something sweet or fruity, it's just something that's gonna, like I said, warm it up just a bit. Like if something is just a little bit too out there, I feel like this can kind of rein it back in and, and warm it out and tone it down a little bit, which is what I plan on using this for. So it's like a patchouli earthy, like have you ever heard of the store? Uh, I don't know, you probably never have. But there's this like hippie store called Third Planet and it smells just like third planet to me. So like, just imagine a store full of like incense and sage and like, yeah, just that's what musk smells like. But it smells good. I would probably never just make a musk candle on its own just cause, mm -mm. but I can imagine that it's gonna be awesome once I get it mixed in and use it to kinda, you know, help some of those other candles. So the other one that I got is Frain. Now this label is super faded. I just got this yesterday, so it's not my fault. So I probably really won't be able to see it. Let me bring it in super close. It's just the Rain fragrance oil. Um, this smell, I've, I've really been trying to search for a really good fresh candle smell because um, I have a couple of them that are kind of fresh, but I just needed something that was like, whoo, knock your socks off. This is the one for me, I feel like it's awesome. So it's just, I mean, it literally does smell like a fresh rain. Like if you just imagine that you're in a walking in like the woods or the forest on a summer day and there's flowers all around you and it just rained and 
the sun is beaming, but you still kind of have that moisture in the air. Like that's how this smells to me. It smells amazing. So it's not so fresh that it smells like a cleaner. Um, but yeah, it's just cool. I love it. I could smell this all day. It almost has like a, a, a clean cotton smell to it as well. So it's an interesting scent. I definitely would recommend this one. I like this one. And sometimes I feel like really fresh smells almost can give you a headache if they've been burning too long. Like I really like clean cotton from Baths and Body Works, but I feel like it's too strong. This is almost a toned down version of that. So it's just not, I just don't feel like this would give you that like, oh God, this is too freaking strong. It's just a little bit toned down, but still really fresh. Like I said, I recommend this one a lot. The last one that I got is Vanilla Pound Cake. So here's that one. This is the bomb, y'all. It's really strong though. Um, but I love this one. So they also, they have several different cake um, versions. They also have one called Cake Bake. That one smells like chemicals. I'm like, oh, where, what kind of cake y'all making? I'll pass. But this one, this one is the bomb. And it's strong. The candle that... Um, that I use this one in, oh my God, it's a top seller for me too. Like it, people love it and it is so freaking strong. It's just, it smells like butter and vanilla and it's just amazing. It, like I'm opening this, I'm just like, ooh, I want me some pound cake with strawberries and ice cream on top of it. Mm. It's just amazing. Probably one of my favorites and like I said, it is strong i have some candles where i mean you know smaller candles obviously you have to know what candles work in what space so obviously i'm not going to expect a candle this is the nine ounce to fill up this big huge house that's what you do you know your 16 ounces whatever sent for but the one that i use this for whoo this size it is so strong. Like it, you get your money's worth out of this one. I'm telling you, I love that one. So basically, like I said I just was re-upping on this one because I already have. Shoot, I actually want to have two bottles of this. I really need to be paying attention more to my inventory. But I make so many of the ones that I mix in with this one that I just always like to have this one on hand. Both of these actually, I mix. I mix um, vanilla bean and this one together. And then there's some other ingredients too. I'm not gonna tell y'all my candle recipes, but I'm just telling, saying that this one, vanilla pound cake is, that's the one. So if you're looking for a good vanilla pound cake smell, that's amazing. And you can mix it with so many other scents. So you could do like a lemon pound cake, or um, I wanna say Nature's Garden has like a seven up smell. 7 up pound cake or just any fruit raspberry pound cake blueberry pound cake there's so many things you can do with this as your base and like i said it just smells so freaking good and it's so strong that you'll be good to go so that is basically my candle haul from AAA candle supply i got four eight ounce fragrance oils i got 24 16 ounce jars, 12 with the black, 12 with the gold. Uh, like I said, the there's a little variance in the way that they look, but I know y'all can't see it from the video, but I can see it. Um, it's not a big deal, but it just makes me kind of look at it like, hmm, weird. But yeah, so I got 24 of these, 12 black, 12 gold. Um, I got 36 of the nine ounce straight sided jar. And yeah, I got, you know, equal amount gold lids and equal amount of that one. 18 of these, 18 of these. So, and then of course I got the HTP3, or HTP <laughs> 83 wicks, which are, I'm going to use for my nine ounce straight, straight edge jars. And then I have my HTP 105, which will be going into my 16 ounce, which I need to test because wasn't really the size that I was initially going for, but AAA Chem Supply does not supply HTP 104. So if that's what you're looking for, you're not gonna find it at AAA Chem Supply. Just saying. Their HTP 
Um, it's, they just don't have all the numbers. So Lone Star does, Candle Science does, not sure of any of the other ones. Cause in Lone Star, you can get tester packs. Only reason why I didn't do that is because I wanted to avoid the shipping cost. And each uh, Lone Star can supplies a little bit further than me. And then I also got the 20 pounds of IGI 606. Once again, this is what they look like. So that is my haul. Um, sent me back a decent little penny, but it was still safe for me to go and drive it. I will upload my candle making process here in a few days. If anybody's interested, I have, you know, cause I do have my uh, wax warmer. I know I see some people are like, how do you use the wax warmer? Like, what is your process? So my process is definitely not any sophisticated type of way of doing nothing. It's just what I do that works for me. So I will be making a video of that too. So you can see, if you don't have a wax warmer, get one. It's amazing. It saves you so much time. Like it's a game changer, seriously. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, I will put all the links to where you can get all of these things down below. And thanks, guys. Happy candle making.